Every year, my husband Hunter and I visit the Tucson Gem Shows for networking and exhibiting. In 2023, we dropped a video called the Ultimate Jade Tour of Tucson featuring all of the jade sellers we could find. That video link is in the description. This video is different. It features the incredible jades we saw at the Tucson Gem Shows in 2024. This Jaguar carving from Luke Miller of Yax Tune at the 22nd Street Show in the Showcase Tent was carved by Adan Pilicastro. The Jaguar is an important symbol in Mayan culture, and this carving features beautiful craftsmanship and surprising translucency as shown here. This eagle was carved in blue jade with a vein of esmeralda color by Adan Pilicastro. Noe Sanchez won a silver award for this piece in the second annual Congreso Latinoamericano de Artistas Talladores en Jare de Guatemala in 2023, a jade carving competition in Guatemala. This piece also won an award in Sujo for outstanding craftsmanship. These green jade beads have a vivid dark green color and translucency rarely seen in Guatemalan jade. At the Jade West booth at 22nd Street, we found these Siberian cat's eye jade beads, a chatoyant variety of nephrite. We actually talk more about cat's eye jade in a video, which I'll link to in the description. On top of having this unusual phenomenon, these beads were large in size and had fantastic color, making this bracelet one of our favorite things we saw at the gem show. This is nephrite jade art carved into a cabbage. This is a squash. And look at that fan. How tiny are those pieces of jade? Their inventory made me feel like I was in a museum. We found this jade chess set at the Jade West booth at GJX, a trade only show. If you want to shop with Jade West directly, you can actually buy nephrite jade from them at jademine.com or ask your local independent jeweler. From the 22nd Street Show, we went to the nearby Red Lion Inn Gem Show to find our friend Jesse Stout at Mayan Mountain, who was also featured in our Jade Tour of Tucson and Monterey Bay Jade Festival videos. Guys, thanks for coming back to the booth. <laughs> Jordan Hunter, it's always awesome to see you. And I also wanted to thank all your viewers. Thank you for the love and the comments. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's been a good year so far here at the 2024 Tucson. But I got uh, lots of new merchandise to show everyone. Come here, check this out. This is a really nice strand I got. Lots of different shades of Imperial going on in here. But I I've got some pieces. Th this is... Oh. How do you... <laughs> How do you describe something this nice? It's incredible. I can't emphasize enough how unusual this color of green is in Guatemalan jadeite jade, which is usually known for its beautiful and distinctive blue hues. The fact that we're seeing this quality come out of Guatemala means big things for the Guatemalan jade industry, and I am so excited for it. This thing, this thing is crazy. When I when I I'm bought come this, let's get around to your side. When okay. I bought this stone, I my original intention was to was to just you know plaque, you know just just to cut plaques out of it, cut slabs. But then I noticed that it just had this texture to it. And again with this vivid green, this is extra unusual because it's faceted. Jade gemstones are usually cut into cabochons meaning rounded on top. Look at how it shines in the sunlight. Crazy unusual. Jesse's booth just kept getting better and better. Check out these vivid green Guatemalan jadeite jade beads. Great translucency on these stones. While we were looking at Jesse's rough material, we met Fred at the neighboring booth. His company is called All Jade Fred Made, and he showed us this jade knife. So unusual and perfect for a jade collector. At the Kino Gem Show, we found Shane Zach at Freshwater Jade and his friend Alfredo. 
a one-of-a-kind jade sculpture carved from Wyoming sage nephrite jade. Alfredo won gold at the 2023 Monterey Bay Jade Festival. This clownfish carving in Guatemalan jadeite jade features contrasting finishes which add to the artistry of this piece. Shane's contemporary carving shown here in Wyoming olive nephrite with a matte finish was inspired by modern jade carving and some of the works of Don Salt. Shane told us that it took him many years of carving to get to the point where he could pull this off properly, and he had to carve with great precision because even a small mistake could ruin the entire design. We haven't shown a trade-only jewelry show on this channel yet, but we wanted to take you behind the scenes of Tucson's AGTA Gem Fair for the jewelry industry. This year, we spent six days exhibiting with Mason K. Jade at AGTA and looking at all these yummy, beautiful pieces, including this strand of ice jade beads. Ice jade is the translucent, colorless variety of jadeite jade. It almost looks like moonstone when cut into a cabochon and is a great stone for bridal pieces because of its durability for everyday wear. This icy jade bangle isn't true ice jade. It's kind of watery as you can see from the little spots of green color. Everything that Mason K. Jade sells is natural, meaning untreated, and it's actually been tested to guarantee that there are no dyes and no polymer resin or wax impregnation. So this green color is the color that this jade came out of the ground as, as well as in the case of this lavender. Very even colored beads here, and that beautiful ring with diamonds on the side are such a perfect combo for the lavender jade collector. They had an overwhelming amount of beauties in the case, and I can't show you all of them, but I can definitely show you some of the highlights, including this carving of two monkeys. Look at the detail on the chain, not the gold chain, but like the jade chain that attaches to the pendant and the white gold chain itself. That was actually carved from the same piece of jade. Those weren't added on later. This ice jade bracelet features sapphire and ruby and diamond and is next to a naturally lavender jade hinge and clasp bangle. Mason K also sells loose jade cabochons, so there were a lot of loose stones there, including this beautiful lavender stone. This is what we call water jade. Water jade means it's this light, icy green color. It's really unique, and it actually kind of looks different depending on the lighting that it's in. So you can kind of see that glow change and even the hue shift a little bit as you change the lighting environment. This is another example of water jade as a loose cabochon. And this vivid apple green stone is an unusual cut as a rectangle set in a estate mounting. Your local independent jewelry store might source their natural jadeite jade from Mason K directly, so you can actually visit your local jeweler if you're shopping for a jade piece. If your jeweler doesn't offer jade though, you can shop with Mason K directly at mkjadejewelry.com and you can even use the discount code JOT for 10% off. Who's your favorite vendor at the Tucson Gem Shows? Let us know about the incredible jades you saw down in the comments.